Hey, welcome back. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will discuss how we search data from Google Sheet and print on our web app like this. So let's begin. Uh, here you will see our two input fields. First for the user ID and second for the user password. This is basically a user need its user ID or password to search his her information. So if the user don't input any data and just search data, you will see a error pop up. Please enter both user ID and password. Basically, this is a web app which basically fetch data from Google Sheet and print on a web app. So here we will enter our username. So now when we click on uh, the search and login, so it will again give us an error. Please enter username or ID. So we need to enter both and when we click on the data, so this is are you sure a pop up appear are you sure please make sure the information is correct. Okay, yes, the information is correct. Uh, uh, correct. That is being fetched by ISP. So this is our pop up. So now the information is received successfully and we can take a print. Uh, so here it is it's a also mobile responsive web app you can also use it on your mobile without any hassle you will see a mobile pop a mobile screen is here and everything is working fine is also here so when we click on search or print data yes and okay so you will see this is a mobile friendly interference also have okay so here when you click on print a button so you will you can print this okay so now you will see uh, this the personal details section the login details of the user uh, for the internet basically this is a database example for our isp data so this is our internet connection username or password which is basically settled in our in their wi-fi routers so this is their package details of our customer the package is speed and the package is price the package active on what date and the package expire on what uh, date and what day and the payment is made so here when in our database uh, the username is not uh, is is not available so when the username is searching the data you will see a pop-up message error contact isp because your username or your password is deleted from the database you may contact your isp to renew or allow a username or password here okay so same here if if you rem uh, select a here unpaid you will see a red button a red a thing here uh, that payment is not being payment pending you need to payment okay so same here if you uh, here do not found any packages and when you uh, select and search and data so you will see a uh, no message from here okay so you will see this is our web app example which is basically made for searching the data from google sheet and show on web app. so let how this setup how we can do this setup so first of all when you open this url so you will see like this type of interference you will see this type of interference you just need to click on make a copy when you click on make a copy you will see uh, this type of google sheet in your screen okay so now you just need to uh, click on your extensions button and here you will see a extensions button and you will kill you can see a app script button okay so when you click on app script you will see the code is already in this in this system okay so here you will see the code is already here okay so now you just click on deploy and click on new deployment when you click on new deployment uh, just press this setting icons and press uh, and select the web app and when you uh, press the web app here you can see this who can access uh, anyone you you select and click on deploy anyway my english is not well i decided on my subscribers demand uh, to uh, make videos in english language so ignore my english i am i am noob in english okay so here uh, you need to give him a permissions but 
I, I, I here uh, don't ask any permission for me so you just copy this and when you copy this and you paste it here and you will see a print or such data a web app is successfully activate in your PC in your Google Drive you can add your data in your Google sheet and send this URL to your customer or embed this URL in your WordPress in your blogger website etc you can easily integrate this web app in your WordPress for searching the data this is again remember this is mobile friendly user friendly okay so don't make any mistake okay so take care